This video is sponsored by AC Pro. Dude, it is so hot. I can't believe my AC stopped working. Uh, 116, and this thing's just blowing hot air. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on here. Can we like find out a way to fix it, maybe, ourselves? Turn your blinker off, man. I'm turning right. Okay. I'm just really frustrated right now because it's so hot and my AC isn't working. Yeah, I get that. Listen, I'm gonna grab your phone and figure out if there's something we can do about this. Check out this channel called How to Wrench. He's got some really cool stuff on there. Maybe he's got an instructional video on how to recharge AC systems. Hey friends, it's Shane from HowToWrench.com. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how you can recharge your AC unit by yourself, do it yourself method with the AC uh, Pro Recharge Kit. This is gonna be extremely useful if your uh, car's AC system is not putting out cold air and you're looking for not only ability to refill it by yourself, not needing expensive tools or technician training or anything else, but it also is gonna let you diagnose it to tell you that you may need to take it to a certified technician. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So think about this for also preventative maintenance where you're gonna be going on a trip, you wanna make sure you're good and ready to go. Or if you simply need it in a pinch, maybe you got kids or loved ones or pets or yourself stuck in the car on a crazy hot day and you need to do something quick, this is a great solution. So why don't we jump in next on how to use the kit. All right, first thing we're start off with some safety. So we're gonna want some safety glasses. And then one of the other things uh, they recommend is some leather gloves you'll see me put on here in a second. But before we get to that, you need to know how we're gonna get our can ready. So we have here a, a little battery tab that's gonna allow the, the gauge to go ahead and uh, function. And that's just for storage on the shelf. And we're gonna get our can uh, off and out of the way. And we just wanna focus on the gauge to do a diagnostic check on the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the air compressor. A lot of times you can hear, hopefully if, uh, if it just needs to recharge, you'll hear the clutch working uh, on the AC unit when you turn it on and off, if you're having a hard time locating it. All right, suggest Google your model, but from the air compressor, you're gonna see a hose come up and around to the car's engine bay. There's a wider diameter line and then a smaller one. That wider one is typically where this low uh, pressure port is. We're gonna unscrew a cap and you can even look for an L on the cap to see low pressure, and that's gonna be a good identifier. Uh, the next thing we do is it's just a, a clip and lock system here. We can go ahead and clip that on, lock it in place, and uh, turn our gauge on. Don't worry about reading this right now because we need the engine actually running and on full fan speed and recirculating to do so. So we're gonna jump in the car and get everything ready and make sure everything is uh, in a good place. It's not gonna fall down into the uh, engine bay. We'll go ahead and start it up. Okay, next we're gonna start the car up and we're gonna put it on max uh, fan speed, the coolest temperature, and make sure and hit the recirculate button inside your vehicle. All right, what we're gonna do now is we have uh, the system where it's actually low, and you can see the gauge here tells you that it needs to be filled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tool off, and we're gonna prepare the can. It comes with the shipping tab. Okay, you can see it's O-ring sealed. The snug is fine. We're gonna hook back up. And you, when you go to fill this, they say to start in the 12 o'clock position. Not like this, not like that. We're gonna go ahead and just fill it for the first time. One 1,000, 10 to 15 seconds. To all right, the gauge is really easy to read. So our zero to 25 is where we would need to add refrigerant if we don't have cold air coming out of the system. But it's important to do the diagnostic step here because if we're 26 to 50 or higher and we don't have cold air coming out, that means there's most likely something else wrong with the system and you need to take the vehicle to a certified technician to look further. 
But in this case, you can see here, we're at 45. It's right uh, on the top end of the 25 to 50. So that means we're in good working condition. The gauge even tells you that it's uh, fully pressurized and doesn't need any uh, further uh, refrigerant. The other thing, keep in mind, it's really important not to overfill it. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna sit and think better is more. That's not the case for, with refrigerant. We just wanna be in this range. All right, friends, there you have it. That's how you can recharge uh, your air conditioning unit yourself. You can find these products at uh, AutoZone, O'Reilly, Advanced Auto Parts, and Walmart. And I'll also put their link to their website below with even more videos on how to use it. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that uh, subscribe button, uh, share our content. As always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.